Hey guys, welcome back. I don't know about you, but every time I see foods in movies, they always look so good, and I'm always curious to see how they taste. I did something similar to this on my channel a few years ago when I made foods from TV shows, and I loved that video so much. It was so much fun. So when I saw Kennedy Walsh do this video last week where she made foods from movies, I was like, I need to do this. There are so many different foods that I can make from movies, so today I'm gonna to be making three different foods from three different movies. The first food on the list is japaguri or ramdan, which comes from the movie Parasite, which by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend. The acting, the storyline, the plot twist, the ending. Need I say more? Before we start making the food, I'm gonna play a little clip from the movie where they're making ramdan so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So here's the clip. So this dish seems pretty easy. It's basically a blend of two different types of ramen noodles. This is nioguri and chapaguri, and together they make japaguri. Yeah, I think I said that right. But what makes this so different from regular noodles is that it is topped with an expensive cut of steak. I didn't realize the significance when I watched the film, but basically it's a metaphor for like, wealth and poverty being commingled together, having the instant noodles and the expensive cut of steak mixed together. This really wealthy family can't just eat the cheap ramen noodles. They have to add a like $50 cut of steak to their noodles in order to like be happy. But yeah, let's make some ramdan. <laughs> Okay, so now that our water's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and add the chapaghetti and nioguri noodles. This is the chapaghetti noodles and the nioguri noodles. Right now we're adding the vegetable mix and the soup base for the nioguri um, ramen. Our noodles are ready. We're just waiting on the beef. So I'm gonna just take out the noodles and we only need a little bit of the broth. So now we're just gonna add some vegetable oil and then the black bean sauce, which gives it that brownish look. I'm just gonna give it a good mix. Okay, after like 10 minutes of mixing, now we're gonna add the beef on top. And now we have some Ramdan noodles from the movie Parasite. I'm actually so excited to try this, so here we go. Mmm. That's good. Dude. Dude. Come here. <laughs> this is actually really good. Like, I can actually see myself eating this on the regular. You can definitely taste the black bean flavor, of course. You have like the flavor of the meat in there. There's a little bit of spice to it too, which I love. I would call myself a ramen connoisseur. So I feel like I know what I'm talking about when I say that this is bomb. Okay, next food. So the next food that we're gonna make comes from the movie, The Emperor's New Groove, and it's Kronk's famous spinach puffs. Is something burning? <gasps> My spinach puffs. Saved them. That's oh, great. great. Good job. Uh, very good job. Watch it. They're still hot. Oh, they're so easy to make. I'll get you the recipe. This one seems a little bit harder to make than the others, so I'm kind of nervous for it. Fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. So we have some fresh spinach here that I just washed. I'm going to transfer this onto a cutting board, and we're basically just going to chop it up into some fine pieces. We're just going to saute some garlic really quickly. And then we're gonna add our chopped spinach. We're gonna add some salt to this. We're gonna add some pepper, stir it around, and then turn off the heat and set it aside. We're going to add some feta cheese, the spinach, and an egg. We're just gonna stir that up.
Now we're gonna add some of the mixture into the center of each of the pastry puffs. Then we're gonna get some egg yolk and brush the sides of the pastry. And then we're supposed to like do something like this. And then we're just going to put some more egg yolk on the outsides. I really don't think I did that right, but I guess we'll see what happens in 20 minutes. Oh my God, my puff pastries are ready. These look so good. I could not have made this. Someone made this for me. I did not make this. Look at this. I made this. These are extremely hot, so I'm gonna let them cool for like 20 minutes and then I'll let you know how they taste. Okay, let's try it out. I love the texture of the bread. It's really crispy, as you can tell. I like the spinach, but I don't know if I'm crazy about it. I think I'd give these like a seven out of 10. Okay, so the last food that we're gonna be making today is sort of a dessert. It's on the sweeter side, and it comes from the movie, The Aristocats. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie, but basically it's a movie about cats that are like rich, <laughs> and um, there's this butler that hates the cats, and I think, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I think Basically, he wants to like drug them with sleeping pills so he can like kick them out of the house. Honestly, I don't even remember at this point, but I'm gonna play the scene where he's making his creme de la creme a la Edgar. Rock a bike, it is bye bye you go. La 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 la, and I'm in the dough. Oh, Edgar, you sly old fox. Favorite dish prepared a very special way. It's creme de la creme a la Edgar. Sleep well. I, I mean, eat, eat well, of course. This recipe is basically like a hot vanilla. So like hot chocolate, but with vanilla flavor. So we're gonna start off with a pint of heavy whipping cream and we're gonna use equal parts of oat milk. The recipe calls for whole milk, but we don't stand whole milk in this house. We only do oat milk. Take some notes, kids. Next, we're gonna add some vanilla extract, some ground cinnamon, some nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. We're basically just going to stir it until it combines and bring it to a boil and then it's ready. So here it is, creme de la creme a la Edgar. I'm gonna dump this little cookie in there. Mmm. What a perfect way to end this video. But it kind of reminds me of arroz con leche, except there's no arroz in there. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for this week's video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. If you guys like this video and you guys want me to do another one, make sure to leave some movies down below and some foods in those movies. I hope you liked it, I liked it. And as always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.